hey girl what's up in this video i am going to show you my silk press routine okay and i don't need to say much because i know you know these results speak for themselves okay and i'm going to show you how i trim my hair as well and the products that i use so if you want to know how to achieve these salon results at home just keep on watching So as usual, like every other hair tutorial I do, I'm starting off on freshly washed, conditioned and detangled hair, okay? And I also did a deep conditioning treatment because I wanted my hair to be as strong and as moisturized as possible before applying heat on my hair, okay? And I used my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Treatment Mask, I will leave all the products down below in the description box, um, to prepare my hair for this silk press okay and my hair is currently super moisturized and curly and soft so the perfect base to start this routine so first on my wet hair i'm using this blow dry cream from shea moisture and i literally love this okay i'm using a dime size this time literally a dime size <laughs> and i'm just applying that onto this section of hair and then the second product i'm applying on my hair is my trustworthy ic fantasia heat protecting serum and i know this product is the og hair protectant of all hair protectant because back in the days all our aunties used this until this day <laughs> i'm still rocking with it okay and this protects my hair so well from the heat that I'm about to apply on my hair and to blow dry my hair I'm using my favorite blow dryer from Dyson with the afro comb attachments and I use this on high heat and high speed and this gets my hair dry in three minutes per section and I still have a shower cap on because I don't want my hair to dry during this process okay I want my hair to be still nice warm and damp uh, before I go ahead and blow dry the rest of my head and as you can see my hair is pretty straight already from just blow drying it and that's super important for this process you want to start off on a nice neat and clean base so if your blow dried hair is already pretty straight then you don't need to apply as much heat on your hair with a flat iron and that reduces heat damage drastically so just make sure you blow dry your hair well use your products on every section use your heat protectant and try to do small sections i know my sections are pretty big right now but i'm used to it but the smaller your sections will be the straighter your hair will be so definitely keep that in mind and when I'm done blow drying my hair, I always <laughs> take a break. I don't know about you guys, but this is still an arm workout, okay? So I just twist my hair in this bun and I just let my hair cool off for like 30 minutes or so before I start um, straightening my hair. So the star of the show is actually my flat iron. This is the Babyless Pro Nano Titanium Flat Iron. And I tried many flat irons in my life, trust me sis. And this one is the only one that gets my hair bone straight, the one with titanium plates, okay? So this is my hair after 30 minutes actually. And sometimes I just rock my hair like this because this is cute. You know, this is a cute hairstyle, you know, I can rock my hair for like a couple of days, blow dry it like this, but that's not what we're going to do today. I want my hair to be bone straight. And it's also important to keep your hair detangled at all times because that makes the process so much easier. And I'm also going to use this tool to do the comb chasing method. You guys will see in a second how I do that exactly. But this tool, exactly this one is a lifesaver okay i used to use a hard bristle brush in the past or a rat tail comb but this comb is working so much better because it grabs my hair perfectly and it holds on and it stretches my hair um, which is perfect for the flat iron to chase the comb right the comb chasing method and by using this comb all hair strands get straightened so there's no need to go over my hair multiple times with a flat iron 
only my roots. I always go over my roots at least three times because my roots are super thick and that also gives me this bone straight flat iron look without the puffy roots. Okay, so the roots I do three times, but the rest of my hair I do once or two times maximum. Not more than that because that's definitely not necessary. If you have a good flat iron, it will flat iron your hair in about one pass. And as you can see, my hair is already starting to look cute okay my hair is flowing my hair has body my hair has shine because of these products but girl i know i desperately need a trim and i cut my hair a few months ago in a curly state and it was a mess it was in shambles but you know i don't mind because i wear my hair curly most of the time so you don't really see that but if you do a silk press just trim your hair it will give you a clean nice look it gives you like this beautiful even cut and it makes your hair even more flowy and this is much better right <laughs> mm -hmm, i know so after straightening one section i always give that section a little trim and then i always have this reference for other sections on where i need to cut it to achieve a nice even look I am measure for my mama when I finally make it Take on my vacations to Bahamas Always celebrating Ever since my birthday was the bomb And now I'm detonating No, you can't relate You just can't relate Every day I wake up like a boss And I be thinking Jesus Fake is trying to get up in my circle I don't really need him We be saying we up next forever Now we really mean it We about that action Acting bad shit when you see us Yeah I'm passionate Drop it out, buy a house in New Orleans Up the empty on them, show them I'm important Win a Grammy, I'll be ballin' like I'm Jordan Why you hear the snoring? I'll be busy scoring I would drop it out, buy a house in New Orleans Up the empty on them, show them I'm important Win a Grammy, I'll be ballin' like I'm Jordan Why you hear the snoring? I'll be busy ballin', ballin' Like it ain't shit, loose leaf in it When we go out, always in the vip Hope to be lit Running my money up Watch it up up in the sky I ain't picking up That's just all on the line You know I ain't got the time I be busy on the move People wonder how I made it hit They see me paying dues I was living check to check Now I'm whipping something new Better pay me my respect I ain't never gonna lose I be ballin' I would drop it out, buy a house in New Orleans Up the empty on them, show them I'm important yeah. With a Grammy, I'll be ballin' like I'm Jordan yeah. Why you hear the snoring? I'll be busy scoring I would drop it out, buy a house in New Orleans Okay, I'm done blow drying, trimming, and straightening my hair and it took me in total, minus the break, 1 hour and 20 minutes and this is the result I don't silk press my hair often, but when I do, I do it right. <laughs> okay, my hair is on fleek. Let me tell you how I'm feeling myself right now. Like, whew. my hair feels as soft as silk. It has volume, okay, the shine. It has great movement, as you can see. It moves with the wind. Like, this is all my hair. This is not a wig. These are not bundles. This is mine, sis. And you can achieve this look as well if you follow my silk press routine, okay? Just get yourself the products and the flat iron I told you to get and you will have amazing salon results at home without going to the hairdresser and spending your coins. You can just invest in some good equipment and just do it yourself, sis, because we're all balling on a budget now and this is definitely budget friendly. Okay, sis, you can save your coins and do it yourself. So like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye.